Okay, da 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 review number five. The story of the Mariko song. Okay, well, first off, I am glad that they had Hayaki Maru have difficulty with hearing. Um, well, difficulty with the fact that he can hear, I should say. Um, because I was worried that by the time we get to the next episode, this episode, that it would be like he would be perfectly fine. It would just be uh, like a normal episode with Hayaki Maru's character, but it would just be, you know, he can hear now, you know what I mean? So I was worried that they would do that, but I'm glad that they didn't. I'm glad that he is having trouble. He's having struggles and a conflict with that. So that's nice. <laughs> of course, he doesn't think that. They do get attacked by a demon, which, okay, this demon actually does, um, confirm a speculation I had. I can't remember if I mentioned it in a past video or not, but I had a speculation that there were demons beyond the 16 demons that took Hayaki Maru's body parts, and the demon that the priest ended up fighting in the very first episode, I thought was one of these demons as well. Because Hayaki Maru doesn't get anything back from this demon or the demon in the first episode. So that pretty much confirms that there are demons, are ghouls in this world that exist that are not the 16 demons that Daigo made um, the deal with. So the 16 demons are something completely different. Like they're probably like they could be like demonic gods or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what makes them so different compared to all the other demons or what makes them stronger or anything like that but there are more than just the 16 so speaking of the priest he's back Hayaki Maru has trouble with the demon he gets beaten by it and the priest saves him and he's still badass as ever I love the priest the priest compares Hayaki Maru to a wounded animal hiding in his cave and that he needs to get used to hearing sounds so he can come out of that cave. But Hayaki Maru hears a voice, a singing voice, a very pretty singing voice and it, and it is revealed to be the girl from the opening who I have speculated about who it could be and yeah we get our answer here. Her name is Mio. And she has a white spirit or white soul or aura or whatever you want to call it. I'm confused. I'm still kind of confused with the auras because I'm not positive if the auras mean like if they're red, they're the aura of a demon. And if they're white, they're the aura of any other organic being like human, animal, whatever. Or if red just means evil and white just means good. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because in my video where I theorized who Mio could be I actually did theorize that she could potentially be a demon and her death will gain Hayaki Maru's arm back. Mio takes um, everyone back to um, uh, her cabin cottage whatever you want to call it and there's a bunch of small children that live there all of which um, are orphans and are missing well not all of them are but a lot of them are missing limbs there's one particular little boy who seems to like act as sort of a caregiver when Mio is not there to do it because it seems like Mio is like the caregiver of these children but there's um one little boy um Takabo I believe his name was he uh, yeah like he acts like um he does like the laundry and the cooking and all that stuff so I'm guessing that this little boy is probably like a biological sibling or maybe even child of Mio because uh well we'll find out later it's completely possible that she could have a child depending on when this all started we don't really know um it, the, his role seemed like it could uh be important for the next episode because we are because it seems like we are focusing on him a bit um he tells Mia to go to sleep and we find out that she has a job that she does at night and it is working with the Sakai army. Oh, in an earlier episode, we find out that Daigo is having problems with the Sakai army, and he, and despite them being the allies, it seems like they're going to, about to attack them. Well, this actually did happen, and this is the war that we were that we are now seeing. 
the war between uh, Daigo's men and the um, and um, the Sakai army. So that's what we are seeing now. Well, not we're not actually seeing the war, but we're seeing like the repercussions of that war. I guess you can say Hayaki Mari really, really likes Mio. Now, whether if he likes her like um, in a romantic sense or something like that, I don't know. It really wouldn't make much sense for him to like in a romantic sense because he literally just met her. Though, I guess love at first sight is a thing. Though, I guess in Hayakimaru's case, it'd be love at first uh, hear. Love at first hearing. Love at first sound. Whatever you want to call it. Um, but he really likes her and he really likes her voice particularly. It's uh, one of the few things, if not one of the only things, that doesn't hurt his ears to hear. Um, so, when she leaves, he reaches out for her. And it kind of... I said romantic is possibility here, but... When he reaches, when he reaches out for, her, it kind of feels a little bit like a child reaching out for a parent. He gives the impression of someone that needs comforting. And as Mio leaves, he starts singing again. And I really do like her song. I really think it's very pretty. Um, I'm curious to know where it comes from. I know, we find out, you know, the particular reason why she sings it in this episode. But I'm curious about um where the song comes from and what the deeper meaning to it is as I'm sure it probably has one but when she's singing the song Hayakamada reaches for her again okay Mio returns later in the morning and she has a moment with Hayakimaru. Um, Mio and Dodoro talk about how Hayakimaru can see auras. And one thing that Dodoro states is that when he sees the auras of demons, they must look very ugly. And Mio looks very uncomfortable when he says this. Like, she covers herself up and she has this very uncomfortable look on her face. Which brings me back to me speculating that Mio could potentially be a demon. But we do see that her spirit is white. Like, her soul it is white. It's not red. So, that might mean that when you see a demon, it doesn't necessarily mean they'll be red. It's, just, it's if they're evil and not. So, the priest who has left a while back in the episode returns. And he reveals that he found a new place for Mio and them to live as they can no longer live in their current, re their current residence. However, there is a demon there. Which Hayaki Maru um, goes to take care of like really quickly. There's definitely something going on with Hayaki Maru and Mio. So Hayaki Maru and the priest go to slay the demon. Meanwhile, Mio goes to her job and Dodoro follows. Uh, Mio also decides that she's going to be working for both sides. So not only is she going to do a job for the Sakai army, she's going to do sides for the other army as well. So yeah, we got these both things going on. Let's start with Mio. She's a prostitute. Okay. See, her job is to go find soldiers who are not currently in war basically and basically ask them if they want a job for her to do a job for them and that job is basically you know whether if they want to sleep with her to get money so she's selling her body for money it's basically what she's doing here oh and da -da -da was of course very shocked um he had the eyes of a child that walked in on his parents well probably even more dramatic since you know it was kind of rape kind of not really i mean okay it's clear that mio is doing mio is like she's doing it willfully but she doesn't want to do it because um, she has to get money in order to provide not only for herself but for those children. Also seems to be pretty clear that that's not the life she always lived. Given the way that she acts when, you know, it's going on. Um, in the past, she might she probably lived like a very normal life. I don't think she, it's going to turn out that she was wealthy or anything like that in the past. But she probably lived a rather normal life. But because of the war, she has to do what she has to do in order to survive. And, and that's just what it is. Um, the song that she sings is also something that she sings while it's going on, or at least hums, and it's kind of like a coping thing for her to the kind of pretend like it's not going on. And it was kind of shocking seeing that. I'm kind of surprised. Um, obviously we don't see anything. It's not like a hentai or anything like that. But back to Hayaki Maru and the demon. As I said, Hayaki Maru and Peace go after the demon, 
and they work together to fight it. They, they do defeat it, and Hayaki Maru gets his voice back. That's awesome, and I'm curious to see how the voice will go. Um, just like with the hearing and him not being like used to it at first, I'm sure he's not going to be used to the voice at first either, and he might have some trouble talking at first. I'm a little disappointed, though, that he got his voice back this early on, though, because he doesn't have anything, because he doesn't have the rest of his limbs back or anything like that, and I don't know. I think the main thing he's going to get back or the last thing he's going to get back is his eyes. Like, if he gets his eyesight back before he gets everything else back, I'd be very disappointed. Yeah, as I just said, he did get his voice back, but he lost something as well. He lost his leg. And I don't mean the prosthetic one. No, 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 no. He lost the real one. And it is uh, very, very gruesome. Hey, they defeat the demon, though, and Mio can live with her younger adopted siblings, or whatever you want to call them, all in peace while she prostitutes herself out. Yay. Very dark undertone or overtone, I guess would be more accurate, um, throughout the whole thing. Um, the ending card was of the bird demon named Yocho, which was interesting to me because it seems like the demon's for the ending card, ending card should be the 16 demons that give him his body parts back. But that's not always the case. Um, in the episode with the flashback, the demon that was used was that um, Scythe Weasel demon. The Scythe Weasel demon was probably not even one of the 16 demons. It's probably just a regular demon, just like this bird demon. Why the, they choose to not show the, the 16 demons all the time at the end, I don't know. I think that's kind of weird, kind of a poor choice in my opinion. Um, each one of the 16 demons should get a slot at the very end is the, what I personally think there but as for the episode in total um it was a definitely dark episode of it was like domestically dark there because they spend time at the house and da -da -da chores and all that stuff and it was very domestic and dark so yeah but yeah i'm really interested in the next episode and seeing how it turns out i still think that mio is probably a demon and that her death will regain um, Hayaki Maru's arm. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I can't really think of anything else to add. So yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.